How's it going everybody? My name is Rhino Saw and welcome to Finger Bones. Now it's actually a built-in uh, Unity Engine game on Game Jolt, so a link will be in the description below for you to play it because it, it is window, it is in the internet. Web. I can't remember the name for them games. Uh, in browser, I think the name is. Uh, but anyway, this is Finger Bones. It's a psychological horror game played by David Szymanski or Szymanski. Sorry if I got your name wrong there. Um, I do know this is quite an old game. Uh, it's a bit like a few weeks to a few months old. But I thought I'd give it a go because, um, of course, I'm doing horror games again. Oh, this chair's so comfortable, guys. And I'm, as you can see, I've got a new chair. And it's so good to be able to lean back in the new chair and just like, oh, it's so cool. Anyway, we're going to get right into it. Let me just click onto the game because I, I, I do the game volume down a little bit. To exit, visit the door you started. So, finger bones is intended to be completed as a single sitting, no save function. Oh, an hour or two to complete it. Interesting. WASD, yep. Left mouse to interact with the environment. Press escape to toggle the screen. Can you go off? Yeah, you can go off, unfortunately. Let me just. There we go. Hmm. So I wonder, can you... Ah, there we go, it's not actually on the screen now, sweet. Yeah, I hate when the mouse normally runs off of the edges of the screen. What in the world? It's my weekend at Katie, but I'm not, really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help, because I'm not depressed, I'm enlightened. This is a result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Uh, I don't really know what to say to that. It seems like that guy or woman... Oh, when I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity, okay? I shook uncontrollably the entire time I felt... That same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Okay. So, wait a minute. So, could be a father getting Katie. This is a price of knowledge, though. It seems like he's a bit egotistical in a way. It's like, this is the price of knowledge, I must be. Something like that, you know. Whoa, it's really dark in here. I'm just clicking on. Okay. So it said to escape, you have to click on that exit, but it doesn't. I don't think I can do that yet. I might, it might be. I, I don't see what happens if you try it. Yeah, you can't do it. Okay. So I read that note. Nothing in the book. This is a weird game. I, it's, I know it's supposed to be psychological, uh, but I don't really understand the premise right now. These weird notes. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions. And not. And pop morality. That's weird. And not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason could be given to prove them as immoral. Hmm. Did I read this one? Oh, it's. It used to be like a keyboard of some sort. <clears throat> I don't know why it's so dark. I wonder if you can turn. I don't think you can turn the sens sensitivity. Ryan, there's a flashlight there. <laughs> My God, how stupid am I? <laughs> oh my God. Sometimes I swear I'm actually blind, 
and I, I'm wearing glasses. This is bad enough. All right, now I can explore a little bit more, I guess. Now, I'm gonna have a note. I don't know why I'd use my stepdaughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose she's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay. So, a door lock code is Katie, because that has to be his daughter's name. What's this? That actually made me jump. I wasn't expecting that. So it looks to be some sort of pixelated horror in the way. I've only just realised that. Okay. So looking for a door pad of some sort. Ah, could it be the keyboard? Yeah. Where's Katie? What? How is it not Katie? It's my weekend to get Katie. There weren't any other notes that said otherwise. Was there? No, that was that weird one. Hmm. I'm spelling that right, aren't I? K A T I. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Uh, do, do, do. It's definitely weird. Also, oh, it did work. Oh my god. Hello? Hi? Oh, things just got very creepy now. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will be wild animals again. I'm ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days. And she's probably dead for all I know or care. I'm guessing that's the mother. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. So an apocalyptic event has happened of some sort then. That's why I went to the bunker. Could be nukes or something considering it's a bunker. Oh god. I don't want to. Oh. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I've burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. Blood? Blood? Okay, um, that is not weird at all. I'm gonna go back up here and type that name into the computer and see what happens. Lynn. I have a feeling that'll trigger something. I just keep expecting like some hidden thing to be over there. Right, let's see now if that unlocked anything. Hello, creepy girl. I heard you crying. Oh damn. Very, very dark in here. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She, she's just like her mother. She wants, she wants to waste time drawing pictures. We're barely able to um, find enough food to survive. I turned her 
I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Hmm. So this has just turned into a very interesting story. It's apocalyptic. It's a father and his daughter trying to survive in the bunker. Oh god, not again. There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman and now I realise there's no practical reasons to keep those desires locked up anymore. Oh my god. I think I know what's going to happen now. I think I know. One guy has locked up the room. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. NNY. The rest of the world is missing. Lynn. This is nil, is it? Back to the computer! It's kind of light. <laughs> so this is a narrative psychological... I like those sorts of horrors. I don't think there are going to be any jump scares, which is quite cool. Because I like the atmosphere and the story in some horror games. Okay. I shall not the storage room. I'm going to bet that the girl is down the hatch. Oh, I keep going to that door. And that's a thought. Does that mean I am the father? Who else would be walking around in this place? Oh, we've got a button. I am a bag of DNA, and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because create. Alright. Okay, this is creepy. <laughs> because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by. Because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless, time, pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose. And now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. That's probably unlocked the hatch. I don't really want to go down there. Or not. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. It seems like the guy is slowly losing his mind. So I wonder what that button did. There wasn't anything on that note that would indicate... Ah! The cellar is freedom. Yeah, the cellar is freedom. Not. You basically locked someone down there. <laughs> That's the opposite of freedom, mate. I was just expecting that to be just wide open. What? Oh! Freedom. The password might be freedom. Okay, I think I get it. The cellar is freedom. So what happens if I do that? Nothing. Yes, I've got it right. Boom. I am too good at puzzles. <laughs> okay, dokie. All right, let's go down here.
Oh god, this is dark. <laughs> There's only food. Okay. There's only enough food for one, so she's gonna die anyway. And I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. Oh god, what has he done? It seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body onto the woods, her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in a safe upstairs. I'm content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. No, you have done something severely wrong, mate. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in pitch dark. He sat down in the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear it, even though it's people inside the freedom cellar. There we go. Got a good end to the story, that was. So you did play the father in the end. I think that's it. Yeah. Excuse the noises in the background if you can hear it. Stupid people. It's sort of summer, isn't it? Anyway, so this has been Ryan Saw playing Kidnapped. I really do hope you enjoyed this game. Um, it was a very intriguing and intellectual sort of psychological horror. It certainly didn't have any jump scares, but it did have some really creepy moments in it, and I thought that was really good for the game. Um, it was definitely different from a lot of the indie horrors that I've played, and that's what makes it stand out, in my opinion. The fact that it didn't have those jump scares, it just had that tension, it had the story, and that's what's good in the game. But anyway, so yeah, it's been Finger Bones. There'll be a uh, there'll be a link in the description below. I always mess it up, don't I? Um, leave a like if you enjoy it, it always helps me out a lot, comment down below on what you thought of the game, and what you thought of my style of playing it, and if I'm too good at puzzles, then mind me, <laughs> I'm kidding, um, subscribe to become a mini sword today of course, there will be uh, get more gameplay Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays, with vlogs on Tuesdays, I, I did originally have Tuesdays and Thursdays, but in the end I just went with more gameplay, but anyway, thank you all for watching. It really means a lot to me that you're, you've tuned in and had a little look. And I'll see you on this video, guys. See you later. Turn your flashlight on. No. No, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up, please, please wake up. Please wake up. Oh god no! What is that? No 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 please 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 Oh